Hey guys, I am back with another lipstick swatch video. How have you guys been? I feel like I haven't done a video in a while, but I've been so busy lately working on my blog. You can also check that out. I'll leave the link in the description below. I have tons of good content on there that you guys can check out. Uh, but for today, I will be swatching lip glosses from Bella Pierre Official. I feel like this is my second video for this month. Oh no, I actually did a video on them last month on some of the creamiest lipsticks ever. I'll also leave that in the description box. And today it's their lip glosses. So this is what it looks like. It's their holographic lip gloss quad. This box is huge, by the way. Look at it, it's almost like the size of my head. Not that I have a big head, but yeah, this just gives you perspective on how huge this box is. And listen, I told you before that I found out about Bella Pierre through my Lip Monthly subscription. And this is one of the lip glosses that I got. This is in the shade Jupiter. I got this in one of my Lip Monthly bags. And I so love this lip gloss. It's like an iridescent champagne tangerine like color. I really do like it. I've used it so many times. And this one is also included in this set right here. I love this one so much that I went and found this entire set of lip glosses from Bella Pierre. Because I'm not kidding, the lip glosses are really good. So it says here that it's formulated with vitamin E. These lip glosses leave your lips feeling soft and nourished, which is absolutely true. They can be worn alone for a sheer glossy lip or used as lip toppers to amplify your look. So we have options. We like options. We definitely like options. So let's just jump right into the swatches because I know you guys are excited to see how these will turn out. Okay, so the first shade here is Polaris and this is the clear holographic one. Let's give you a little view. I mean, that's all it is. It's clear and it has that iridescent finish. And I'm gonna give you a little swatch here. Let's see. Oh, it has a green iridescent finish to it. That is interesting. Look at that. Can you see the green in there? It's like a mermaid type of green. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it definitely has a little bit of green. I had lipstick on earlier and I tried to take that off. It was the Catrice, what is it called? I had the Catrice liquid lip powder on today. It lasted me all day. You guys need to check that out. And they're super inexpensive. Catrice has some really great products. Uh, let's check this out. And my lips are really still a little bit stained from the liquid lip liquid lip powder. Okay, so you're not really gonna get much color from this one. Cause like I said, this one is clear. I am fine with clear. Yeah. This smells like cake. No, it smells like cotton candy. It smells like cotton candy and peppermint for some reason. I like it. All right, so this is the final look. In my viewfinder here, I can see a little bit of the color. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing on your end, um, but it's not bad. And obviously this will make a great lip topper just because it's a clear finish. 
but this is what you get. Next up we have this lavender looking color. This is so pretty. This is in the shade Pegasus. And it's such a bummer that you really can't tell the color. Because my lights are too bright. But let's see if we can get it here in a swatch. Yep. That is definitely like a lavender unicorn color. You know what's so crazy? It doesn't, I wouldn't expect it to be this bright. It's almost like purple. So it looks more like a pastel purple from the tube, but it's a little bit brighter than that. It is really pretty. Anyways, let's see how it swatches on my lips, eh? Oh, yeah. That is crazy. Can you guys even see the purple? I'm like, wow. Wow. And these all smell so good. This I could wear in its own because it has a lot more color in there. Like, I'm trying just to use my viewfinder here. Um, no, you guys can definitely see that. This I can wear in its own. The first one, the clear one, I could use that as like a topper. But if you're just looking for something simple, you can wear it on its own as well. But this one has a lot more color in there. Wow, that is I like it. Oh, that's really nice. Mmm. This smells awesome. It smells like cake. Okay, so the next one I have here is called Vega or Vega, either one. And this one seems like it is, mm, I would say, a nude. Anyways, let's just swatch it and we can get a more definitive answer to what color it is. Because, like I said, I've been doing this for so long, but it's still so, ooh. Now this one is more like a champagne for sure. It, the good thing about these is that they also look more like they give off a little metallic vibe. That's the thing about holographic lip gloss. It, it's so hard to give or to show the swatches on camera just because of all the lighting. But hopefully you'll see it here on my lips a little bit better. But I'm telling you, it's the colors. I'm pretty sure the camera is not giving these the justice that they deserve because these are bomb. Uh, And guys, these aren't even sticky. They don't feel heavy. They don't feel goopy. They don't feel sticky. That's why I like them. And that is why I got the entire pack of it because I really did like them. And even though lip gloss season is over, 
Who follows trends anyways or seasons? You do what you want. See, it's kind of hard to see the pink in this one. See, it's not even sticky. Like Sometimes you can, when you press your lips together, you can just see like long streaks of lip gloss sometimes because of how sticky and heavy it is. You don't get that with these. These are like a soft, creamy, non-sticky formula that I am finding very hard to describe right now. Other than it's pretty amazing. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Jupiter. So I'm not going to swatch the new one that I got in the set. I'm going to keep this one. Um, probably put it in, well, probably put it in a giveaway. So I'm going to swatch the one that I already own. All right. So Jupiter, like I said, it's like a more orange-ish, tangerine, holographic, metallic, beautiful color. It does have like some golden hues to it too. See that? You can see some of the yellows in there. Okay, so it shows up a little bit more, I would say, golden. Um, I just love this lip gloss. Sorry guys, I like this lip gloss too much. I might just keep that one. But hey, you can go out and grab it because I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. These are really nice. So maybe if I get up a little bit closer, you can see. This one, it has like a yellow golden hue or undertone to it. Maybe you can see it a little better. What it will do is just add character to your lipstick. You know, give it a little bit more personality. A little bit more, if you know what I'm saying. So. Either way, your lips will still look good, whether you wear it by itself or not. You're still gonna win. Um, but overall, yeah, I like these. I like these lip glosses, and that's why, like I said, I want to get the entire box. The formula is excellent. It's not super sticky, like I said. It's not that it's non-sticky. It's just not as sticky as some other lip glosses that I've tried because. I don't think there's any lip gloss that exists that doesn't have some degree of stickiness to it. So it's never going to be completely non-sticky. If you guys like this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more swatch videos like this from me. And if you're going to subscribe, then just make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button because that's the only way you're going to know when I upload a new swatch video or else how are you going to know? You won't. Nope. You will be left out of the chat if you don't subscribe and click the notification bell. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in my next watch video. Bye.